blue today. First fish of the morning anyway. Get me with them hooks. Little blue. So I've been trying to figure this out this whole weekend. So I'm just gonna, I haven't been doing much else, where else. But I grabbed top water this morning, just kind of going up against the current of this creek. Start throwing like I'm bass fishing. And uh, see that fish missed that bait a couple times. And I just hit the spotlight button on the trolling motor real quick and toss it right back over there and he ate it. So hopefully we can get a big redfish or trout to do that. <laughs> In case that school's still here, I'll make a couple more guys. And it's got all the water pushed in, the tide has never really became low. A little bit bigger one. That's this little trout. Yeah. Hey, buddy, we finally found some. I don't know if you'll keep. Gotta be 15 inches. Get a lure out of them and I'll show them to you. Beautiful speckled sea trout. Probably Mr. Bluefish right there. That was, my, that was a nice lure too. That was a new mirror lure, brand new mirror lure. clean we're not gonna go crazy we're just trying to leave the guts and carcasses behind now you see this one here there's two different kind of trout I want to explain that this is the speckled sea trout you can see the spots on him and then this is what we call a yellow mouth trout it looks very very similar but no spots not a whole lot of regulations on these guys a whole lot of regulations on those guys to me they don't taste any different all right, all done with our field prep. I did go ahead and take the skins off of them just because I can leave them here. But I left the rib cages and everything on. We got about a nice like five, six pounds of fillets right there. We'll finish uh, cooking those or finish prepping those right before we cook them. So glad you guys tagged along with this part of the video. So don't go nowhere. We're gonna cook them up next. Here at Devil's Elbow, by the way, and uh, pretty cool place. Beach up.
welcome into the Backwoods Gourmet Outdoor Kitchen. We got those trout and we're gonna make one of my favorite little trout dishes and I call it fish wings. So stick around. Right, so the, I was trying to think of something really unique to go with these beautiful fish wings we're gonna make and I came up with this nice pickled zucchini salad. Check this out. seen we cleaned those things at camp and you know told you that was just a camp clean so I'm gonna bring a couple over here to the uh, um, cutting board and uh, see it still has that rib cage on it right there now if you're fine with picking the bones out of that don't even go to this step okay but if you know you got people in your fam or you're feeding that just are way way you know don't like picking bones then I'm gonna take this my little flay knife and fall them pin bones right on down there I can feel them with the knife and I'm just gonna take them on off there now we won't waste this right here now you could absolutely fry this separate and um, you know have a good that's a good portion of meat right there but what we're probably going to do with it is just save these for chum, save them for our crab traps, because that's going to be some really crab, good crab trap bait. And, um, you know, we'll just turn that in from, from sea trout to blue crab. So I'm going to go ahead and do another one real quick. Just going to pull that right off of there. All right. So we got two beautiful fillets. Now, what I'm going to do today, I call this uh, this dish fish wings. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut them into pieces that resemble a chicken wing. So because they're going to be triangular, so not strips, but triangular pieces, narrow at one end and wide at the other end. Just like that. Do it. Go ahead and do it on the other fillet. So, basically, triangle pieces like that. So, before we get started, I got some whole shrimp here with the heads on. Uh, some whole white shrimp. I've double skewered them, make them easier to turn. I I brine them with just some uh, um, some sea salt a little bit of Seminole Swamp seasoning and let them set in the refrigerator for about an hour maybe an hour and a half so what I want to do with these I want to smoke them over here on the pellet grill 
that's kind of going to be a side to this one of our sods so just got this guy fired back up here and I'm going to put it on the cool side I want to get smoked and as you guys know it doesn't take a lot of heat to finish shrimp up so we're going to lay those guys right up on there just like that close down the pit boss and I'll keep an eye on so we're gonna go ahead and give a good dose to all these our little fish wings call them give a good season to them all and uh, here we're using our favorite season that would be Seminole Swamp season but use your favorite uh, there's a bunch of good ones out there you no know? and it's kind of a regional taste too so but use whatever you like to season your fish but go ahead and do it while it's while it's still you know when you just cut it just like this right here and that'll help to uh, get more of that flavor from the season right on into your fish so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and make my uh, egg mayo wash if you guys have followed my channel for any amount of time you know this is something we really like to do with our fried food I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit of the mayo there a little bit of Seminole Swamp seasoning okay and then um, one fresh egg right out of our hen house out there from our chickens all right, go ahead and take those three ingredients, just whip them up really nice and smooth, and it's not very difficult as long as you got a whisk. And it comes out nice and thick, and it's really going to help in the next step of this process. Alright, so what we got here is uh, peanut oil, my favorite, if you can find it, if you can't find it, don't worry about it, get what you can get, okay, uh, but peanut oil is, I think, the best for frying, we're going to go ahead and put about an inch of oil in that old grizz right over there. And uh, she's still been preheating, very low flame. Same with this one guy, this little guy over here. So we're gonna get our sauce going in that just in a second. But we wanna go ahead and let that oil come up to temperature nice and easy while we're getting our fish prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna give it a temp here, film this. That's uh, Kerrygold butter. About one full stick. Right in the little cast iron. It's a little, no, little old Griswold. Alright, so now that that uh, butter's melted completely, about two tablespoons of sriracha sauce take my whisk just kind of combine the two really well and man the flavor the smell of you know the aroma I wish I could upload that to you guys it's really nice coming off of that so we're gonna go ahead and transfer these uh, trout wings are over into a bowl here and they've had a little little bit of time hanging out there with seasoning on them to you know start bringing up some moisture so I'm gonna have sprinkle them a little bit of flour just dredging them with some flour there real quick all right and they're looking pretty good the flour sticking pretty nice set them over here and what I have here is my egg mayo wash 
Um, and we're gonna go ahead and bring them into the egg mayo wash. A little bit at a time, probably. I have another, uh, and this, it's gonna be messy for your fingers, so just, you know, don't worry about that part. And then uh, in a bowl over here to the side, we got panko breadcrumbs. Go ahead and put some of them in the bowl there. So as I bring these out, uh, the egg mayo wash, I'm gonna let it, the excess drip off and put them right over there in the. So I've been preheating this oil for a little while and I don't want it to be too hot these panko breadcrumbs will burn on you real easy. Never mind the fact you got that egg mayo wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop them one at a time. Keep them all nice and separated. Let's go ahead and give that fish a try. Yeah, Cabela's barking like crazy because somebody's sh shooting off fireworks. Go ahead and get a little bit of that sriracha butter on there. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta try this, guys. That is unbelievable. So if you like what we're doing, please smash that like button right down there. Subscribe to our channel right over here for another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right there. And for our whole playlist, catch clean cook videos, be right there. We'll see you next time.